Do you take thinners? Uh, no more. When I originally had it, you know, anticoagulants is a uh, prescribed therapy, but... So you took oral or... Uh, oral, yeah. inter Intravenous, okay. Yeah. You got rid of it? Yep. Okay, that's good. But there's always, you know, once you have one, they say there's more risk. Likelihood, yeah. Yeah, so... So they don't recommend you take a uh, baby aspirin or an aspirin or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And I do that. Okay. The 80 milligram or whatever? Yeah. Well, no, I just... Whatever you buy. Okay, normal. Normal. Yeah, do it, do it that way because uh, anything more than over the counter is not any fun. Like the Coumadin and yeah. all that stuff. Then limits whatever you know. Once you take one medication, it limits what you can do, what you can take on top of it. So overall, how's the gait? Looks good. Looks like that leg seems to be a little more fuller. A little more heavy with fluid, but yeah. it's typically is normal. I say definitely that pressure on the side. Hugo, I'd love to give you some TheraBands, but I feel like it's too early still. I've got TheraBands. Have you been using TheraBands? It's it's okay? Oh, yeah. And I use it when I do my lateral, so my leg can fully extend. And I do it when I uh, do the um, extensions to help you. to make me come all the way. And I use it to help me bend. Is it colored? It's yellow, so it's the it's light. light one. Okay. Because I, I, we have some if you need some extra. Okay. I was going to give you, but I officially, I officially feel like we should wait until we get a good x-ray. Okay. But if you're comfortable doing that at home, I think that's okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, I'd like to get some kind of x-ray showing some cloudiness where the bone it's needs easy. to heal. And then the doc says no more crutches. And then 